Hello, I'm Shadow Cavell, and welcome back to some more FTL. So, oh, Distress Beacon. Let's uh, we'll jump there, then we'll jump here, I think. This will be our best bet. So, jump to the Distress and see what's going on there. The Distress, the, uh, the distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. The satellite defense system has gone haywire, and the repair crew can't approach without being fired on. Oh, not, not this bloody thing again. So, ah, shit, I shouldn't have promised help because we can't quit now. Last time we lost a crew member, this time we didn't. Uh, you fire a few volleys, and from a distance, it's clear the defenses is no match for your weapons. However, the station does not seem to have your situation with your solution. You salvage what you can and jump before those troubles. So, again, two fuel, one missile, and 39 scrap. We have got a crap ton of missiles, so it might be at some point worth actually buying a missile launch just because we've got a lot of missiles. Or we could swap them for scrap. We'll see. Um, images of some weak and hungry humans come uh, intruders on board the ship. Bollocks, they're right where I want to be in the door place. So, actually, going to run my pilot out right this second because otherwise, I'm breaking that and they'll probably kill him, which is rather annoying. What we'll do is a flood this, we'll pre flood this room here. So, when they break down the doors. It will already be uh, flooded. Which would be a nice surprise to them. Not. So they managed to bust into... The, uh, they ran away from that. That's lucky for us. So since they busted these doors, they're going to um, start suffocating anyway. Hopefully we can at least kill one or two of them before they break through this door. I would like to have someone in here, but... Unfortunately, the areas that actually spawned in didn't really make that possible. But we managed to kill them all anyway. So just wait for everything to... Actually, not everyone's got full health. Everyone back into here. Vincent, you're the only guy who needs to be in here now. Getting that little tiny tick of health. Return to stations. <clears throat> as soon as the pilot gets there, then we can jump. So we'll jump to shit. Right. My little my plan has unfortunately gone a bit tipped up and we're gonna have to backtrack on ourselves annoyingly. Which is not something you want to do because there's never anything back. Jump here. So I have kind of messed this up a little bit. And nearly got caught by the rebels, but it's not too bad. A small shuttle appears in the local radar. Turns out it's a rebel automated scout who's just cloaked. And whilst they're cloaked, we don't charge our lasers, which is rather annoying because I think they do. So they'll get basically a free hit on us, which is a wee bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. What I might do actually is when we're all fully charged, fire a salvo at their um, cloaking device so they can't cloak again. Or at least they've got to try and repair it, although. I don't remember if automated scouts can actually repair or not off the top of my head. And their weapons don't seem to do anything. Actually, their, we their weapons seem unsynced. Unless they just have different charge times, of course. So let's take the shields out. Boom, shields nearly gone. Oh crap. O2 took a hit. So who can repair? Um, the only one we've got to repair is the Mantis, who is actually a bit crap at repairing. But our oxygen is at 63%, so it's not the end of the world. Once you can kill this guy, actually, we'll take two shots in there. Oh, so it did hurt, hurt his weapons, so that's good. I can't afford to take my guy off the engines or the pilot dude off. I just fired that stupidly. Because I need them for uh, my evasion, I believe. So unfortunately, it's only the uh, Mantis who can. And they've jumped, they've cloaked again, so they have repaired their cloak. So we do we want to take them out. We'll fire two, three into the shields, one into the weapons. Hopefully this will take the shields out. It didn't, unfortunately. But next round, hopefully, uh, what the next round I'll do is I'll just fire everything onto the shields. And then we'll take out the cloaking and then we'll take the weapons out. Because apart from that one lucky hit they got, their weapons didn't actually seem to do too much damage to me, which is quite nice. Now uh, the bosses are cloaked yet again. <clears throat> So they did do a bit of hull damage to us when they took out our, one of our subsystems and hit one of our rooms. The weapons do seem to do a bit of damage, so I'm actually going to fire... There we go. Destroy the weapons, destroy the whole bloody ship. Two fuel, two missiles, 56 scrap. Excellent. Uh, let's go repair this <coughs> before we jump. Let's quickly check the ship out as well. What, what else can we buy? So you could buy another shield if you wanted to. I think it's a bit of a waste of scrap at the moment. Weapons control we don't need, don't need power. Although, actually, I might buy another power bar in case we get any uh, 
that's anything that gives us free power, which would be quite nice. Don't need sensors. Piloting's full. Doors are full. Medbear, I guess I could increase that. Or the oxygen refill. A bit pointless. I would do this dodge, but it's not. A, at the last couple of levels, it's not a big, as big an increase as before. So I think we'll just leave that and we'll get all our scrap together. I might might buy some more shields at a later point. Possibly it might be worth just getting the last little shield. Ah, store. But we'll see if we can find a store first, which we just did. Excellent. So we have lots of money. Hopefully they've got weapons. Uh, drones and systems and crew. Bollocks. No weapons. They do have crew, so I might buy one or two crew from the shop. <clears throat> and also... Let's buy a couple of bits. Let's buy up to 10 fuel. Nope, okay. We'll buy all the fuel they've got. So drones you don't want. Let's sell drones and lasers. Gives us a tiny bit of scrap. So they've got a clone bay, a crew teleporter, or a drone control. I don't want drone control. Clone bay <clears throat> does have its bonuses, I guess, but no, I'm not going to spend my scrap on that. Crew teleporter could be handy, but we don't have enough crew. But we'll actually look at what we've got here. So humans, Lannis, drains oxygen from rooms, slow movement, but no damage from lack of oxygen. Oh, actually, let's have a look. So... Our shield guy died, didn't he? This guy's got full shield, so... And also 50% 50, 50 faster charge and manning weapons. That's quite handy. This guy's got repair skill and evasion. But he's a lan he's a, uh, a mantis, sorry. So he has half repair skill anyway, which is not too handy. Well, he does inflict 1.5 damage in combat, which is quite, quite good. Uh, I'm thinking I'll buy the human, at least... Maybe I should buy the Mantis, just as an extra crew member. Get, guess Evasion, because it gets a bit of engines, in case the engine guy does die. I buy him just because it's always handy to have someone extra like that. And I think we'll just do a little bit of fixing there. And page one was just bits and pieces. So we do have, we have got a little bit of stuff. Nothing amazing. Send everyone back to, where they're, back to the posts. And we'll pop this dude onto uh, <coughs> uh, the, the sensor room. So let's jump to the next sector. So we've actually been caught up by uh, by the rebels very quickly. So we'll do a big jump here, and then we've got I think three, four sectors, including this sector before the exit. The charts indicate this was the location of a small skirmish over a military facility on a nearby moon. Oddly, scans pick up no signs of debris from either the battle or the station. It's another area sucked dry by the Lannis. I have just had a funny thought. I think the next sector, Sector 8, is actually the final sector with the boss fight, which we are totally not equipped for. So that's where this run will actually end, because we will get blown up pretty damn quickly. We'll give it a try, but I've only ever got to the boss fight once, and I died there as well. Um, you question the local settlement, and they describe a fleet of metal ships were to see collecting all of the abandoned metal and debris in the area. When they approach important satellites, the settlements fire a few a ASB warning shots. The Lannis move on despite clearly having a firepower to overwhelm the settlements. Uh, cool, so... Oh, distress. <clears throat> so I've got quite a few more beacons before the exit, but... I'm not expecting anything amazing from there. You find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire. Got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. So send your crew in a shuttle to help out the fire, dock and try and rescue the survivors or leave. So... What should we do? One or two? could try and dock and rescue survivors. Let's try and do that, shall we? Oh, fantastic. So, damage to our ship. Um, you locate the highest concentration of life forms and bring the ship along to the station. Before you can begin to offload the survivors, a huge blast spills, splits the station apart. Your ship is thrown away and some debris is pierced, uh, some debris, debris even, pierced your hull. You watch the, you watch helplessly as the last of the survivors are consumed in the collapse of the station. So, we took a full hull damage, but it does seem like we took a lot more than full hull damage. Did get some scraps, that's good, I guess. Ah, one of our rooms got hurt as well. That's probably why we took a bit extra damage. So that was pretty, pretty uh, awful. Anyway, I'm going to take a break. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next video.